All right, so I'm gonna go over how to actually hold the pistol. So with your dominant hand, you're gonna get high and tight up on the actual back strap itself. I'm not the best with terminology all the time, so I may mix words up, but nice high and tight. Make sure your finger's off the trigger until you're ready to fire. With your support hand, you're gonna put it out like you're shaking somebody's hand. And it's gonna go right on the support side that's missing any kind of support itself. Your thumb's gonna be right on the actual frame. You're not gonna be covering the trigger guard or down here or back here. It's gonna go high and tight as you can get it. And it's gonna take up all that real estate that's actually missing right here. So support hand goes right in there. Fingers wrap underneath the actual trigger guard itself where this undercut would be right up on there. And then thumbs facing forward. So whenever you're bringing the pistol up to actually fire, you're going to basically squeeze it like you're shaking somebody's hand. You don't want it too tight to where it's going to shake, and you don't want the pistol sliding inside your actual grip itself. Otherwise, you'll limp wrist and you'll have malfunctions while trying to shoot. So, nice actual grip, squeeze together, and then bring the pistol up to your eye. You don't want to put the pistol out, do the old uh, style of shooting, lean forward and roll your shoulders. You want nice grip on there, handshake grip, bring it up to your line of sight. So that way you're not locked out and stressed out and your body's shaking because it's a very tense position to be in. Just nice pistol or nice handshake grip, bring it up to your line of sight. You'll find the sights a lot easier and a lot better. Just practice bringing it up and lining up your sights naturally. So that way you're not rolled up too tight. Just a nice position, bring it up to your line of sight.